Kentucky say they are being forced from their homes. They claim a company is unfairly evicting them as part of a practice to sell the same homes over and over again. Our Rich Jaffe has spent the last few months investigating and he has the story you'll see only on Local 12 News. You got it homes.com where you can buy, finance, and own your mobile home today with low, low payment. You Got It Homes, or SSK Communities, owns more than two dozen mobile home parks. Most are located in northern Kentucky and Louisville. The parks have names like Barrington Point, Beechwood Community, and Autumn Lake Point. My family's been in the park uh, 25 years. Until recently, Ginny Chapel and her mom lived at Autumn Lake Point in Louisville. After months of documenting and publicizing complaints at Autumn Lake and other SSK properties, Chapel says she was hit with an eviction notice claiming she was behind on her rent. They play hardball. They intimidate. Um, they run their parks thinking that no one can fight them. Before the eviction case against her went to court, SSK's lawyer offered Chapel a settlement deal where she'd get $1,500 to help move her mobile home, provided she agreed to stop speaking out against the company. She turned down the offer, went to court and won, but she moved anyway. Chapel's now the lead plaintiff in a lawsuit that claims, quote, many if not all mobile homes owned by SSK and sold or leased by them once belonged to SSK residents that were forced to abandon their homes after an improper eviction. The lawsuit goes on to charge that for many years SSK carried out a plot designed to force its mobile home park residents to lose their homes. Many of the residents that have discussed the issues with us are very fearful. Many of them are angry because they have already lost their home. Many of them are scared to death that they are about to lose their home. While residents of the parks frequently own their homes outright, they pay SSK to rent the lot they are parked on and for utilities like water and sewer. The lawsuit filed in Louisville alleges that utility charges in the parks are raised to a point that homeowners can't afford to pay them. The suit also claims that SSK then moves quickly to evict the homeowners for non-payment and then the owners end up leaving their mobile homes because moving one can cost thousands of dollars and older ones could just fall apart if moved. The lawsuit alleges this pattern happens over and over again in SSK's Louisville parks. When we asked about the issue of high utility bills at their northern Kentucky properties back in August, SSK's Nathan Smith explained that money generated by the increasing rates was being used to pay for maintenance and to fix multiple water leaks beneath their properties. We're by no means making money on the water, never have, and we would, nothing would ha make us happier than this water bill to go down because this is very concerning to us because we know that the residents have a certain amount of money to spend on utilities at any property. It's a part of their income. And this is, this has always been concerning to us. It makes for a lot of sleepless nights because I know that I'm going to eventually have to leave my home. And I can't. Sue Gibson's fear and Ginny Chapel's anger are now echoed by other SSK residents in what they hope the court will make a class action lawsuit. We've gone to the courthouse and we have researched court cases dating back in Jefferson County to 1999. We've now identified more than 500 filed by SSK in Jefferson County. This is a practice that has been going on for a very long time. The residents of SSK communities in Louisville who filed this lawsuit are not alone in their complaints. These are exactly the same issues that we've been talking about here in northern Kentucky for the last few months. Ella Karcher lives on a fixed income in SSK's Beechwood community in Fort Wright. She says while she owns her home and lives alone, she's being charged $96 a month for water and sewer, which is significantly more than the municipal rates. In addition to that, her lot rent's just gone up 7%, and it all adds up to a bill she can't afford. Before I said it made it a decision, am I going to eat today or not? Now it's a matter of, okay, now which medication am I going to take in half so that I can make it stretch out a little bit longer? Karcher says the lawsuit gives her some hope. It's exactly what's going on. We wanted to talk again with SSK's Nathan Smith about this new lawsuit, but now he's referring us to a public relations spokesperson for SSK Communities, and she sent us this statement. We regret that these individuals have taken this action. We believe that the complaint has no merit, and we will vigorously defend our company's interest. Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. SSK has until mid-December to respond to the lawsuit. Of course, we'll let you know what happens as the case moves through the legal system. But if you'd like to read the lawsuit, you can do so by going to local12.com. Just click on that red Get It button. It'll take you right there.